Tune in to this episode of the DevOps Lab. We're going to be talking about Bicep with PC, who's joining us again. And we're going to be talking about the new Bicep extension in VS Code. You don't want to miss it. Welcome to the latest episode of the DevOps Lab. And I'm really excited because today I have a returning guest, PC. PC, welcome. Hi, April. So happy to be back again. I'm glad to have you back. You have a very, very exciting announcement. But before we get to that, tell everyone out there what it is you do for Microsoft, because some people may have not seen you before in the DevOps Lab. Sure, April. So my name is Puichi Chan. I go by PC, so just call me PC. Uh, I am a PM in the Azure DevTools team, and I'm responsible for the Visual Studio Code extension for Bicep, as well as the uh, Bicep extension for Visual Studio. Awesome. So in our previous episode, we talked about Bicep in Visual Studio and the new mm -hmm. extension, but mm -hmm. you have a new announcement. So go ahead and tell everyone out there what the really cool news is. So um, a lot of time people start with uh, Bicep, they will find like an example in the inter either in the internet or either in your own, uh, you may be migrating from ARM to Bicep. So um, a lot of time you actually copy that JSON file, right? Uh, yeah, today you can actually run Bicep decompile to get the Bicep file. Uh, but what if, what if April, you can just paste directly as Bicep? So th ah. that's the feature pasting bicep directly okay and i assume you're going to show us how to use this now yes yes cool. so let me show you the demo i'm really excited about this me too this is gonna be awesome yeah so um april on the left is actually a sample json file that i have and on the mm -hmm. right is just an empty bicep file okay so mm -hmm. let's do this right so imagine you were browsing and a, a, Actually, you know, today a lot of the samples are available in both ARM and Bicep. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes you do come across a, a sample that is only like JSON only, right? So what do you do? Um, you can, I'm just going to copy the entire file and on the right, I'm just going to paste it. Look. <gasps> oh, that's a game changer because that means I can export a JSON file, copy it into the Bicep file, and it automatically puts into like a working bicep template for me. Yeah. You don't have to do, like you don't have to explicitly run the uh, um, the, the bicep decompile command. So, I mean, in this time and days, uh, it's always better to achieve more by doing less, right? So. It's about um, velocity and efficiency and being able to get my scripts out there, especially when I'm managing a lot of scripts. Wow. Yeah. This is really cool, PC. I love this because I have sat here and had to refactor, recompile my and and, and bang my head against a wall um, <laughs> when I'm recompiling my script. So this is really, really cool. Copy, paste, done. Yep. And April, I I, 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 want, I want to call out to those. Uh, so just now there was actually a, a, like a message, a pop up there to mm -hmm. say that, hey, you know, uh, when you paste, it's actually directly pasting as bicep. Mm -hmm. So you can actually dismiss that. Uh, you can configure that to never show you again. So just FYI. Okay, cool. Um, so it doesn't stop at just copying and the entire JSON file, right? For instance, I mean, the best case scenario is you find the entire uh, ARM JSON that you can reuse, but that is only in the perfect world. Like sometimes you just want to get maybe a resource object in there mm -hmm. and it will work. I'll show you. Uh-oh. So I don't have to copy anything. the whole script. I could just take what I need. Uh -huh. No, oh, I like that. Finger. So if you I need like a that. single resource, you can do that. Or you want a multiple resources? Okay, I, I do have to grab the uh, right. Uh, uh, okay, let's do it. <gasps> Love that. Yeah. Love that. Okay, so what if uh, I let's go ahead and define a param, right? Look, what if? I know it's easy, but you know what if this is complex and you just want to copy and paste, right? Does mm -hmm. it work? I like a good copy and paste. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> love it. Oh, Isn't that awesome? And I, awesome? I literally have just wasted hours and days of my life refactoring my script. So this is 
This is awesome, PC. This is such a game changer for everyone. I'm really excited. This is coming out. And I assume this will probably be in the latest version uh -huh. of the bicep extension um, that's coming out. Yes, it will be in the latest of the uh, um, bicep extension for Visual Studio Code. Awesome. Cool. And for everyone out there watching, um, PC, I believe there's also a community call that people can join every mm -hmm. month to yes. see what features are coming out for VS Code and Bicep. Yep. And we love to hear from our from our customers, right? So if there's any cool idea that you have, support that you need in Visual Studio Code extension, let us know. Um, or you can just go directly to the Bicep repo and file an issue there. Or Give us good, just give us an upload uh, on uh, features that you are looking for. Thank you everyone for joining us on this episode of the DevOps Lab. We got to see the brand new bicep extension that's going to be a game changer when you're converting ARM templates, especially with JSON. So tune in next time for the DevOps Lab and we'll see you then.